What's going on guys? Jam here with another video for you and in this video I would like to take a look at the Peacekeeper Hero in the new game For Honor. For Honor is a brand new game released by Ubisoft for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Pretty much it's a clash between Vikings, Knights, and Samurais and they all battle out an all-out war for the lay of the land. While I was playing the beta I felt really attracted to the Peacekeeper class. She is uh, a fun character to play. Some people think she's kind of hard. Um, it was hard for me to get used to her so I wanted to make a tutorial video and I thought that would help a lot of people so hopefully this is very informative for you and I hope you enjoy let's go ahead and take a brief look at the peacekeeper all right so a quick breakdown on the peacekeeper she's an assassin type hero who is extremely agile and is very very good at counterattacking. her strengths include but are not limited to high mobility quick reaction time, and the ability to apply a damage over time effect with her stab. However, on the other hand, she does have her downfalls. She has low health, limited range with her weapons, and limited block. And when I say limited block, I mean, for example, if you play with a warden class, you kind of hold your weapon in the direction of when they're attacking. With the assassin, um, excuse me, with the peacekeeper, you actually have to time your blocking in the direction of which they're swinging. So that can be a little tricky and it takes some time to get used to. Due to her low health and her low range, it's very difficult when you go against other heroes such as the Conqueror or the Shugoki because they just kind of overpower you and there's not really a way to keep too much of a distance as their weapons are quite large. And that's when you really have to focus on the assassin playstyle. Get in there, stab, and get out because you will be overpowered. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at some of her moves. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out some of the Peacekeeper's moves. I'm going to skip the combos because they're pretty self-explanatory, I'm gonna go right into the good stuff. So these are the four abilities that I think really give the Peacekeeper her edge. So the first one is Deep Gouge, and that is done by a heavy attack and landing a light attack immediately after. And that applies a damage over time effect, which can be really essential in a fight. The next one is Dash Thrust, and this is performed by hitting the left stick up and A at the same time, and then right trigger afterwards, and that gives a heavy attack. And this one is really cool because this one is pretty much a gap closer, so it's really good to use if you're up against an enemy that has a long range weapon. And you can also use the dash thrust with the deep gouge. So you land the dash thrust and then you immediately follow up with a light attack and that applies the damage over time effect. So that can be a really good opening combo. The next one is sidestep strike. And this one is really essential because as a peacekeeper, you're very agile, you're very quick, and you'll be dodging constantly. So you're going to want to use this one at the same time while you're dodging attacks. So you dodge in the direction that you think is the appropriate one, and then you immediately right after hit a heavy attack. And that's going to land a pretty decent blow. And the next one is Stab. And this one is tricky, but it is very, very neat if you can land it properly. You hit your guard break with X. After successfully landing your guard break, you want to hit right bumper, right bumper, right bumper. So three light attacks in succession. Now you can't just spam the right bumper or your light attack. You have to time it. So it's kind of like uh, guard break, stab, stab, stab. So you want to you want to get uh, mess around with that actually. So go ahead and play against an AI and mess around with that and then you'll get the feel about when you have to hit the, the light attack in succession to perform that successfully. And that applies a very very good damage over time effect. So those are overview for some abilities that I think are really awesome. So let's go ahead and kind of show you my rotation that I would use when I go against someone in For Honor. All right, so here we are. I'm playing against the AI so I can show you guys how I would put the moves into play. Round one. So the first thing you'll notice is my opponent has a very large spear. And that's going to make it a little difficult for me to get in there with my short range and do some damage. So I'm going to want to use a lunge quite a bit so I can actually get the edge on her because me just rushing in there is not going to end well. So uh, let's see how this goes. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is try to lunge. All right, that landed perfectly. Keep closing in that gap. Give her some space. Now I'm going to see if I can get in there to apply a damage over time effect. That'll give me an edge. And remember, you got to time these right. So I'm just going to try to avoid her and let her bleed out. I'm not doing a good job at avoiding. <laughs> I got to be more aggressive now. Okay, here we go. And she's just going to die now. 
All right. So, I mean, I mean, it looks kind of shaky, but that's the Peacekeeper play. I mean, you kind of have to just stab and go. <laughs> Round two. All right. So, she did pretty well guarding against my lunges. So, I'm going to see if I can apply a damage over time effect immediately. <laughs> nope, she blocked it. Okay. All right. So, she's blocking my lunge to close the gap. So, I'm going to try some sidestep attacks. That worked well. Switch sides on her. Close the gap. Ah, you see? So that one I was able to apply deep gouge. And I had to time that perfectly. Oops, I'm out of stamina. Ah, run. I had to time that perfectly to get that light attack in there to get that going. So there I was able to use sidestep. And I was able to use lunge and my deep gouge. It should kind of dwindle her health down. So, I mean, I'm again, the Peacekeeper is, is stab and go. Stab and go. All right, let's finish this off. Lunge again. She blocked it, so I'm going to need some more. I'm going to need some more side steps. Stab her. Get her health going down. I think I need to side step again. Ooh, good block. Let's see if she can do it again. Or lunge. Ha! Got him! Stab. And then just kind of let her die. <laughs> so there you have it. I mean, it looks... It's kind of cheesy, I'm not going to lie. But it's kind of how you have to play as a peacekeeper. And then this fight gets a lot difficult when you're up against, like, bigger enemies. Um, like I said before, the Conqueror and the Sh Shugoki, I think it's called, if I remember correctly, they're really, really tough for me to beat, so I usually have to be more careful than I was in this match. I hope this showed you some good tactics that you can use, so uh, let's go ahead and switch over so we can close out. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you a good insight as to how the Peacekeeper works, and I hope it helps you with your builds, and I hope you influence you to play try the Peacekeeper out. She's fantastic, and she's super fun. Um, if you guys want to add me on Xbox Live, I'll see you on the battlefield. The information is on the screen for you. And I also have a live gaming radio show. That information is also on the screen for you as well. This is JM signing out, and as always, happy gaming.